Ugly. Bad. Worse. I was really skeptical about it. I don't bully you. You start with me and I just put you in your place. I was like, oh yeah, bullying, yeah. And then I was like, wait, because I never really saw bullying around school like that. It's such a big problem that I don't know how just a group of kids can actually make a difference. I used to push kids around, call them names. Yeah, I used to have that rep. I was the bully in my school. Last days of junior year, Miss Little came out to us and asked us to construct some questions over the summer. Instead of just getting our opinions, which is just like the slightest bit of like what bullying really is, you should get it from the rest of the school also. As I was taking the survey, I remember writing, run, almost running out of space for every answer because there were questions that really actually were personal. Initially, we were gonna have to kind of make up a lot of stuff uh, really kind of build the scripts on our own, but when they gave us so much to use in order to really put a, a structure on the script, it really helped a lot as far as the writing process. Like, I first was looking at the pictures of all the victims. They don't differ from anybody else, so I'm just like, why, why did these kids have to die over something stupid? I represent a football player who was only in seventh grade when he killed himself, and why him? Faggot. That's what I get called every single day since I started the sixth grade. I'm constantly getting bullied by a group of boys in my school. I could just imagine this little sixth grade kid just so depressed and coming home just like, I can't imagine like how it feels wanting to die every day, so that was really like hard hitting for me. You're, all you're looking for is that one spark in someone's life that will like let them get through that one day so that they won't hang themselves or take too many pills or OD on something. So you don't know what somebody's going through. You don't know what that person is thinking about doing to themselves. You don't know anything like that. So you need to watch what you say to people and just treat everybody with respect because if somebody did that to you, you would have a problem with it. that I find comfort in what you call my mistake. Every time you put me down, I'll just use it as motivation to act beyond your ignorant words. If you really need me, you know that just because I'm black does not mean I speak Ebonics. There are successful African Americans in this world, and one day, I will be one of them. If you really knew me, you could see that today, I might be the bully. The victims, the bystanders, the Tomorrow, I might be you.